Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, Nazar here. You can call me Naz if you like. Uh, today is uh, our second unboxing of the second model from the new uh, beautiful uh, Hot Wheels pullback speeders. Look at that. Love this box. This is the display box from the store. I was lucky enough to grab it. Uh, but yeah, really nice little thing. Just uh, wish they didn't rip off the top. But uh, anyway, here it is. Uh, so I only picked up these four models. Um, I already did the review on this bad boy. So uh, definitely go back in the playlist and check out uh, this beautiful Mustang. Amazing, amazing freaking Mustang. So beautiful, so well designed. As you can see, the hood opens and all that good stuff. So uh, again, this is uh, what's in this series. This is wave one. There's a lot more really cool uh, models coming. So uh, I'll be on the lookout. <laughs> That's for sure. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I got the Mustang. I got the Dimashini Veloce. That is what we're reviewing today. Right there. And uh, I also got the Bone Shaker, which I'll review after that. And I also got the Muscle and Blown. Because I'm a huge fan of... Uh, uh, our man uh, Dmitry uh, Shakhmatov, he's a Ukrainian Mattel designer. He's actually like um, the manager of the design team or something like that. I don't remember. But uh, the, this wave are uh, all of these. The only repeats are the Bone Shaker, Muscle and Blown, and I'm not sure <laughs> what else might be a repeat. But I'm pretty sure that the rest are new. And uh, wave two is going to be even more epic. There's some awesome stuff. But uh, this is what got me into it. Uh, I don't collect the scale. I definitely don't collect pullbacks, but uh, I guess I do now. Uh, this was awesome. Check out that review, guys. But uh, yeah, so uh, another. this is uh, today's uh, review. This is what we're going to check out. Uh, another uh, design by Dima. <laughs> Dimitri. Uh, so uh, that's why it's called Dimashini Veloce. It's a uh, it's basically a fantasy casting but it's loosely based on the Pantera. You can kind of tell. Uh, so yeah we're gonna review this thing. Before we rip into that here's the uh, carryover from last year's releases. I really love this one. Also designed by Dima. Uh, really cool little design. Also a fantasy casting. And, of course, I had to get this. I absolutely love this Bone Shaker. It's awesome. Um, by the way, guys, the scale of this is like 143rd. I still don't remember. I'm going to put it right there on the screen. Um, they're not big. They're, uh, let's see. This was my uh, comparison that I did with the 164 uh, Custom Camaro, which is very similar in design. Like, look at that. It's uh, the box. There it is on the box. You can put four of these on the box. So that thing is very much like, see, it's not that much bigger. Obviously, it's bigger, but it's not that much bigger. <laughs> there, I can cover it up. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, this bone shaker is awesome. This is also from 2023. I'm not sure if they changed the paint or anything. But I had to have this one because look at all that chrome. Look at the freaking awesome skull right there. This thing is just almost perfection, man. If you're into bone shakers, you gotta get this, man. And these are pullbacks. As you can see, uh, they do things. <laughs> so anyway, let's put all these away. We'll, uh, we will review these uh, next. This one's already up on the channel, so go check that out. And today we're doing this bad boy. So uh, let's clear this, the area and get to it. Okay, guys, so uh, check this thing out, man. So yeah, man, uh, Dmitry Shakhmatov is a Ukrainian uh, designer. He, uh, I think he started in like 2014. And by 2017, he started being like a manager of the design teams there. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Um, I love all the different languages here. I love that there's Ukrainian right here. I love that. Mojlyva otvorenya drivnych detali. So yeah, I love the, uh, the slogan right there. Empowering the next generation through play. Uh, you know, analog play, not digital. 
So, uh, love the design, love this beautiful, like, artwork here. It's so, like, I don't know, something about it. I, I really dig it, man. I really dig it. Uh, so yeah, the Machini Veloce with opening doors. Let's, uh, actually open this and, uh, get the show on the road. But first, let's, uh, darken that up a little bit there. There we go. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh... Take this out through the back. Yeah, let's do that. Bear with me. Shouldn't take us too long. Oh, there's already a little bit of rippage there. Why does that... <sighs> oh, okay. I always try to open this as gently as, po as possible, but whatever. Uh, I'm only trying to be careful to keep these looking nice, not to save it for any kind of resale value. These are toys, guys. Please don't scalp these Hot Wheels community. Please don't turn this into a scalp game. They're just pullback speeder toys for kids. Just leave these. <laughs> Come on now. So, uh, let's see. There's... Okay, cool. Alright, so not much in here. Just some cardboard. And I love this little mechanism they have down here. See, like, all you have to do is flip them up and then twist it uh, clockwise. So, there we go. A one, a two, and uh, there we go. That's all it is. This little key right here fits into this little hole there and it keeps it together. That's really clever, really awesome. Nothing new or anything, but, you know... You gotta appreciate a good design. All right, get that out of the way there. Oh yeah, sorry. There's your uh, box art. Nice little blue random explosion situation thing happening. All right, then we have a rubber band. The Mustang did not have that. So, well, obviously to keep the doors closed, let's cut that. Uh, let's bend this over a little bit. Excuse me, guys. Okay, <laughs> I think I need a fresh blade. All right, so this is just a regular rubber, rubber bandage. All right, here she is, nice and free. Like right away, my brain read this as Pantera. <laughs> Straight up right away. All right, I'll, I will grab one of my uh, Pantera Hot Wheels castings to compare it to this. But uh, anyway, I wonder... Well, no, because it doesn't say the hood opens. Why would it? The engine's in here anyway. But anyway, this is one of my absolute favorites designs by Dima. I think he knocked it out of the park with this car. And rightfully so, named it after himself, kind of. <laughs> Dima Sheeny. Uh, there we go. I feel like if you put some, like, lights inside of there, it would look really cool. So, uh, white steelies, I believe those are called. Steelies wheels. Really nice, um, detail. Just not painted, but really cool, uh, mold for these headlights and the grill. 73 probably I, I wonder if that's like Dima's um, birth year 1973 possible Rally El Segundo <laughs> Hot Wheels graphics I know I'm getting to the opening doors I just wanted to uh, check out everything here the paint is fairly nice it looks like there's a, maybe a bunch of particles in there that could just be like the metal. I think that's just like the metal itself. Uh, what do you call it? Imperfections. But yeah, nice little curvatures here. Nice designs. Very well done, man. Very well done. Beautiful car. And again, <laughs> I, I'm blown away. This is... Straight up, this is a toy. This is a pullback for kids to play. 
It's not a model. It's not like intended for collectors. You pull this, play with it. A kid's going to toss this around the house, scratch it up, not give two Fs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah. Um, this is so cool. And I, I absolutely, like I said, I love the art style. Like, this is so, the kind of stuff that sticks in your memory, you know, when you're a kid. Like, I remember this kind of graphics. I'm not sure what it was, but something about this style of art that, um, it's just special. I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, get to the opening doors. <laughs> so, I'm sure it's nothing crazy. There you go. <laughs> Opened the door. So, uh, let's zoom in there, have a look-see at what we're working with here if we can actually focus come on camera okay it doesn't want to just get to this area here there you go so really cool little mechanism back here it's actually not like not intrusive or anything like nice and clean designed very well that's some good engineering right there, guy. So, um, the inside, not much to it. Okay, I think it's time we brighten this up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, not much to it, really. Come on, there you go. See the, the steering wheel is just a pathetic knob. <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy. Let's uh let's open the other side here. Cool. So you have two bucket seats. Very basic. I mean, what else do you need to expect from that? Really not much. Oops, sorry. Let's zoom out a little bit. That's ridiculous. Okay. So, uh let's have a look see here. Uh there you go. There's your inches. So this thing's uh, about roughly four and a half inches right there. Okay, we are playing too much with the settings here. <laughs> All right. So about four and a half inches right there. A little bit over. So this thing's not huge, man. About About two inches right there. So there you go. Oh yeah, let me get that Pantera so we can have a look-see. One sec. All right, so here we go. Here's the uh, actual Hot Wheels Pantera. There you go. De Tommaso Pantera, which also makes sense. De Machini, <laughs> De Machini rather. It's like De Tommaso, De Machini. Uh, I love that, man. I, I think that's awesome. But as you can see, very much uh, similar designs. I actually like the, the way Dima put the extended the rear mirror uh, window there. Actually, not a bad thing. <laughs> as you can see, to scale, like, it's obviously bigger, like, much bigger, but not that much bigger. There. We're, like, going more than halfway through it with a regular Hot Wheels car. So not not too not too shabby, bruh. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh oh oh. So there's your uh, hood. There's the front. Like he definitely changed it enough. It's obviously not the same car, but definitely inspired by Pantera. And Pantera is like one of my absolute favorite cars. This is actually the first release of a uh, Pantera by Hot Wheels right here little golf livery so yeah there you go in case you wanted to know <laughs> very very similar situation there so uh that's that's pretty much it guys there's your uh, little review i mean you wanted probably to to see and hear the whole pullback situation it needs to be like on a flat surface or whatever which i don't really have but you want to hear the click right there they are
So this is felt, so um, this car is not gonna do well on that. But uh, yeah, from what they're saying is, let's see, that it's supposed to go about 10 feet. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I, I don't really care about, you know, proving or disproving that. I don't see why they it would not be true. Uh, I got this for the beautiful design. I got this because this was designed by uh, Dmitry uh, Shakhmatov, a Ukrainian Mattel designer and manager of the design team. So, um, yeah, really cool. Hopefully you like it too. So, uh, yeah, this is another uh, release for the 2024 first wave. And uh, stick around right after this. I'm going to turn on the uh, little clip of me finding this in the store. And I'll show you uh, all the other cars that were in this wave uh, with it. And uh, next video, we're going to probably do the Bone Shaker. Uh, we'll see. Or the that other one that Dima designed. <laughs> so, all right. Cool, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Naz. Enjoy the little clip in the end of me uh, uh, peg hunting for uh, Hot Wheels and finding these bad boys. All right. Peace and love. Uh, also, these. That's new. I've been watching... Uh, ooh, I might actually pick that up. That's freaking awesome. I've been watching Brian of Die Castle review these, and I freaking love them, man. The scale is amazing. They're so, like, they're small. Like, let's see. Right there. Look at that. So the card almost covers the whole box there. I love that Mustang. And I love this from his review. This is awesome. This was the designed by Dima, Dimitri, uh, Ukrainian designer. Ooh, what's this? Dima, speaking of Dima. <laughs> oh man, guys, I might be picking these up. So what I really liked was uh, the bone shaker. I thought it looked amazing, especially out of box. This is tough though, man. These are 10 bucks each. Hot Wheels toys, buy one, get one 25% off. Hmm. Perhaps. These three. Look at that lineup. And then we have this heavy hitcher. And 2022 Camaro. Look at those, man. Oh, that Mustang's 100% coming with me. <laughs> That's so cool. Now there are a couple more here. Looks like they put out a few cases, which is freaking sweet. I'm trying to see if there's any other car that I'm missing. Looks like the Dimashini is the rare one to find. That and the, the Hummer. Everything else seems to be pretty plentiful. Oh no, the Bone Shaker, there's only one per case as well. I mean, out of all of these, I only saw two Bone Shakers. So let's see if the... Um... Ah! That one's 10% off. <laughs> nah. Nah, man. Um, Alright, so... Trying to see if paint varies. That Mustang is freaking awesome. Oh, I love this thing. All right, so as far as the tempos, they're, they seem to be identical. There's no, like, issues with anything or misalignments. That just looks, um, as they say, uh, on point. All right, so what am I doing here? I think I'm getting one Mustang, and I'm going to have to put this away as much as I love it. I just got a little bit hyped there, so I need to uh, take it easy. So the Dimashini, um, just because he's my favorite freaking designer, other than Junimai and uh, Ryu, of course, uh, everyone loves Ryu, but um, I kind of want to get two Mustangs, to be honest with you. These things are... That's amazing. Amazing, dude. We don't like to focus on things because we're... Uh, the camera needs an upgrade. That's how that's how we do. Come on. This is awesome. Alright, so 
As much as I do love the Dima Shini, and it looks like the door's open, so I don't think any of, of the other ones have moving parts. But this one does, and they're metal too. <sighs> I'm gonna go scan this, see how much these are. And uh, then we'll go. Man, your boy Nas has serious addiction issues, guys. I wish these boxes weren't ripped up. I would, uh, I'm definitely taking one of these boxes. Just want to pick a good one. If they didn't rip that flap open, that would be great. Bastards.